There are a lot of exciting things happening at the Connecticut Historical Society, including a brand new exhibit and a new executive director, Jody Blankenship. He is here with the Society's researcher, Tasha Coswell. Nice to have you guys here. Thank you. Jody, welcome to Connecticut. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Tell us a little bit about your background. Sure. Well, I've been working in public history for about 15 years. Prior to coming to Connecticut, about four days ago, <laughs> I was in uh, Kentucky working for the Kentucky Historical Society. What do you think about our state so far? Well, it's beautiful. I think we came at the right time. The trees are changing. The, the landscape is just phenomenal, so we're excited. Great. Um, welcome. So let's talk about some of the upcoming programs at the Connecticut Historical Society. A lot to do there. Absolutely. Tons of stuff going on right now. We've just started out our school program, so we've got kids running through the museum, <laughs> learning lots about Connecticut's history. We've got some upcoming programs on witches uh, and whether Connecticut should apologize for hanging witches. Oh, interesting. We've got our furniture series kicking off. And most importantly, we've got a new exhibit coming up. Yeah, and Tasha, we're going to have you talk about that. Yes. Uh, it opens October 11th. Tell us the details. Okay, um, it's about three uh, Connecticut women photographers, one of whom was based in Norfolk, Connecticut, so in the northwestern part of the state. Um, another one in Bridgeport, so down south, sure. and then the third one in Stonington. Um, and the, the um, two... The woman from Norfolk and the woman from Bridgeport were photographers in the late 19th century. Um, and then the, the third one was a photographer in the mid 20th century. So there's a huge range of photographic processes and technology um, and cultural things that changed for women in the intervening years. And how did you pick these three photographers? Well, part of it was that we had their work in our collection, um, and part of it was that they make nice sort of cornerstones for one another. So you have the two um, earlier photographers who are working around the same time, but their socioeconomic statuses are so different mm -hmm. that the subject matter of their photographs is very different. So you have one woman who's photographing um, the events, the architecture, the people in a small town, and then you have another woman, the one in Bridgeport, mm -hmm. um, who was mostly photographing her wealthy family and their lavish homes. Sure. Well, let's actually put some of these pictures yeah. up so you can explain let's now what we're looking at. Um, the first one... So this is a photograph by Harriet Thorne. Um, she is the woman who lived in Bridgeport. We don't actually know who the subject of this photograph is, um, but we do know that this photo was taken in Bridgeport in Harriet's photo studio. Um, and so we have this beautiful young woman um, with her arms up, sort of gazing dreamily off to the side. Um, it's a lovely image. Sure. This is actually Helen Keller. So oh, wow. the third photographer that we're featuring, Raleigh McKenna, um, she, her bread and butter was actually making portraits of artists and writers. And so Helen Keller is one of the, you know, the famous writers who lived in, in the state of Connecticut. Um, and Raleigh took this amazing photograph of her for a magazine called America Illustrated. And apparently, um, when this issue came out, it went flying off of the shelves, in part because of this image. Wow, oh, okay. Um, and we have a couple more to show. Yeah, so this is Wallace Stevens, um, the Pulitzer Prize winning poet in Hartford. Great. And uh, we should also, oh, last one here. Yes, so this is the third photographer. This is Marie Kendall. Um, these are school children in Norfolk. They're lined up in front of their school. It oh, yeah. looks a little cold there. Um, and so she was, she was the one who took a lot of photos of the people and areas sure. around Norfolk. Well, we should mention you have an uh, old camera with yes. you today. That's kind of cool. It is. So, so this is what photography was like um, <laughs> in the late 19th century, you know? Everyone today carries around cell phones with cameras, but this is what photographers were using. You had to take this thing out into the field with a tripod. You had to, um, in some cases, you had to actually develop the negatives on site. Sure. Um, there were a lot of technical considerations that photographers had to have that we don't today. It certainly has come a long way. It really has. Well, the name of the exhibit is Through a Different Lens, Three Connecticut Women Photographers. It's going to be October 11th through March 29th at the Connecticut Historical Society right in Hartford. Go to chs.org for more information. Jody, thank you for being here. Tasha, thank, thank you. you for all thank the information. You. And stay with us. More Connecticut style after the break. Gil Simmons is up. We'll be right back.